Um, at this point, I'd like to invite up one of our recent uh, alumni, Anthony Angeloni. Anthony graduated in 2008. He's uh, working for the Hartford um, in their uh, division called HIMCO, Hartford Investment Management Company. And uh, I've asked Anthony to come this morning and just reflect a little bit on the career ready focus that he experienced not long ago. Everything that we've shared with you this morning from the freshman bar 110 to the sophomore, the junior, and the senior year experiences and how that has helped him uh, really begin to establish himself uh, in a very, very successful career path at uh, the Hartford. So, uh, Anthony, why don't you come on up? Thank you, Dean. Sure. Good morning, everyone. Uh, as the Dean mentioned, my name is Anthony Angeloni. I work at Hartford Investment Management. Uh, everybody's been talking about how they were sitting in your seats, so I feel like I need to do that as well. I was there 10 years ago, and I feel like this is like the first point in my life where I can start to feel old because I can say I did something a decade ago, and here I am back in the same room. So a uh, little, little sad for me, but that's okay. A um, few points I want to make today. First, uh, by, by way of introduction, um, I work in our uh, credit research group, in investment grade credit research uh, more specifically. So basically what that is, in a nutshell, is I'm responsible for several sectors and I make recommendations on the companies in those sectors to our portfolio managers uh, who decide whether or not those investments fit within our portfolio. So at HIMCO, uh, we manage about $130 billion of assets. Um, we have uh, gross trading volumes of about a trillion dollars a year, so very uh, large, uh, meaningful um, operation that we have there. So, you know, what I do is I look at several companies within sectors. I decide on a fundamental basis whether or not I think those companies are worthy investments from a credit perspective. So we buy uh, bonds and fixed income securities. Um, and I make recommendations to our portfolio managers and we work together to decide whether or not we should invest in the debt of those companies, which is not unlike the analysis that a credit card company will do on an individual to decide whether or not to issue a credit card or issue a loan. Um, so with that, um, basically, uh, you know, one of the things that I want to point out, and, and um, I've worked closely with the dean on this, is that um, in a couple of weeks, or actually about in a week tomorrow, we're going to have a group of students from the Barney School, come and visit our trade floor. So we've actually just recently built a world-class trading floor, uh, 10,000 square feet, um, something straight out of a Wall Street movie. It's the coolest place to work. I, I can honestly say that. Um, we're going to have a group of students come in. We're going to have our head of trading speak to them. We're going to have our head of investment grade credit research speak to them. We're going to have our head of macro research speak to them. Um, and then we're going to wrap that up with uh, somebody from our human resource department um, come in and speak to them about how do you prepare for an investment career. Um, and I think that's really important because even, you know, just, you know, graduating from the university in 2008, that's an experience that I, I didn't have. So you can see how the, the progression and the change that Celia mentioned since she was a student here, it's even happening here. And I think a big reason for that is alumni like myself and the dean and other faculty members reaching out and building and spanning that network. Um, and we're able to create an experience where you're going to have students come into a professional environment, have uh, people who are at the top of their careers speak to them, you know, about what they do and about uh, investment management. And I think that's a lot something that people don't realize exists in the Hartford area. They think, well, I have to go to Wall Street to do that, but uh, not really. I mean, it, it, there are every insurance company has this type of organization, such as the one that I work for, um, that manages billion dollars of assets, and it really impacts the bottom line and. Another uh, point that I want to make about my own personal career is uh, I'll be 28 soon, and um, a great example of one of the things that I love about my job is uh, next week I'll be attending a conference in Boston, actually, uh, Goldman Sachs conference, and I have several meetings set up with um, uh, several of the companies that I cover. Um, and what I mean by that is I'm meeting with treasurers and CFOs and CEOs of these large multinational corporations. Um, and one of the things that I love about my job is that at 28 years old, the seasoned, you know, six or seven figure earner on the other side of the table is more afraid of the question I'm going to ask him than, you know, th than me being nervous about speaking to somebody of, you know, such distinction in their career. So 
that's something that I really love, that position of power where I get to drill these guys with questions all day, get the information that I need, and have them leaving, wiping their brow instead of the other way around. So, um, you know, in closing, I think, you know, obviously it's a huge decision which college um, and which university and which business school, if business is definitely the route that you want to go, it's a big decision on, on, on where to choose. Um, I think a lot of the things that you've heard here today and hopefully some of the things that I've said can really um, you know, cement the foundation and then the idea that uh, the Barney School of Business is a fantastic place with fantastic uh, faculty members and unique class opportunities and a real focus on how are we going to prepare our students for in a, a career in whatever vocation that they choose. I, through my uh, undergraduate studies, um, developed a passion for investments. It was something that I was always interested in. Actually, my applied professional project was a fundamental uh, financial analysis of the ExxonMobil company. At that time, they were the largest corporation in the world. They're still somewhere in the top, I think. Um, I don't cover the energy sector, so I don't know anymore. But um, that was sort of like the foundation where you know, I, like, I really enjoyed doing this. This is something that I would like to pursue. And with all the tools and internships and faculty help and you know networking with alumni and things like that, I was able to accomplish that. And you know, it's it's been a pleasure of mine to sort of turn around and do that, you know, several years later and try to provide that experience um, for the students. And I hope that all of you give serious thought to the Barney School of Business. And I hope to see some of you up here speaking next to me about how you've been able to pursue a successful career at a very young age and have been able to turn around and try to give those things back to potential future students. So with that, thank you very much, and I'll be around for questions afterwards.